Hi, this is Singh. Uh, today we are going to deal with free switch and Skype on Microsoft window. And I assume that you have these tools installed on your system. If you don't, please install it now. can use a SBN program to download uh, the latest source code no, I, everything is okay and uh, select the directory where you want to put your source code okay and you all set This, this file you need to open okay and you will see something like this okay this is your uh, solution explorer you can go to the configuration menu and you can delete or add certain models if you want okay also you can according to your system architecture you can select a platform okay that's it um, and you need to add uh, Skype module then just go to the existing project free switch source mod endpoints Skype and here this file just add this one and then build and also you need to download uh, 16 kilohertz sounds okay this one just click build click build that's it you're done after this one <coughs> Okay, now let's uh, edit the configuration files. This is your Skype configuration file. Uh, install the Skype client on your server machine and uh, set the path. And uh, create the ID. Like it depends how many um, clients you want to run on your machine. Well, I'm gonna test just with the one, okay? So I have one here. So I will just show you the demo. So if you want to run uh, 10 clients, then you need to create 10 IDs. <coughs> okay, let's launch the Skype client. So you need to um, copy Skype configuration file to your auto load configuration here. Actually, I already have one. <coughs> and uh, according to your clients, you need to edit these all the parameters. So in my case, uh, the context is default, and uh, all the calls are going to hit my dial plan. And my dial plan know what to do with the uh, 5000 extension. So now these are all the parameters and you need to set according to your system. Now let's launch free switch. Okay, client is ready. So let's load Skype module. see the authorization request let me show you like this way what the fuck? Okay. okay. successfully loaded okay and now 
let's make a phone call. Well, this is my uh, another machine. Okay, he said it. All right, good. Let's make a phone call. Welcome to an unofficial Skype out service. If you want to make a phone call, then please press one. If you want to listen Fox News, then please press two. Please enter the destination number now. Let's call free switch. Currently, well, the only call in the conference. conference. Hello, hello, anyone? All right. See, it's working very good. Let's make another. Okay, uh, let's learn a little bit more about our uh, free switch. <coughs> well, if you are selling stuff on eBay, you know, then you can have a. Uh, multiple concurrent calls from Skype network let me show you how does it work on free switch uh, well you can make uh, something like this really nice uh, logo on your uh, eBay homepage call me on Skype you know okay let me show you how does it work on free switch okay let's say a user one call your Skype ID okay Alright, it's gonna hit the dial plan and IVR and then okay according to the IVR and whatever the option you have like uh, press one for sale, press two for you know technical support and something like this. Okay, and also you can forward the call to your voicemail or you can forward to your cell phone. Okay, now see this the the Skype uh, ID one is like say you can say channel one is busy now. So at the same time another user call your ID. And now what will happen? Let's see. see the free switch is uh, very smart and uh, for all the incoming calls like if see the channel 1 that means your Skype ID 1 is a busy then it will automatically transfer the call to the Skype ID 2 so like uh, if you want to have a concurrent calls from the Skype network so you need to run multiple clients on your server machine so if you want 10 then you need to run 10 clients so on a regular uh, SIP clients, okay, you cannot uh, uh, regular uh, Skype client. So you can handle only one call at a time. If you want to uh, take another call, then you need to put the first one on hold, and then you can take the second call. But this is see here, like free switch is helping you a lot. So you can handle a lot, like um, like it depends upon your server configuration. If you have really nice good hardware, and then you can run, you can run like ten to a uh, hundreds. Uh, um, you know channels for Skype Skype trunk like you know it's really good one um, okay so uh, let me show you how does it work practically okay uh, now I show you on a free switch okay, I have a two uh, clients running on a different machine okay let me make a phone call No, this is my main ID, so I'm gonna call. Okay. Welcome to an unofficial Skype out service. If you want to make a phone call, then please press one. Let's listen to Fox News. When the whole state is unemployed, okay. and I'm talking about white people, right. so, so that let's blacks make another call be now. demonized the way they are. Now you will see here. Yeah, I'm really shocked, you know, that, that blacks are being demonized. Call being transferred. Okay, see here. Housing market, I mean, 
Welcome to an unofficial Skyfall service. If you want to make a phone call, then please press 1. If you want to listen Fox News, then please press 2. Please press... Let's call a free switch. Please enter the destination number now. concrete calls in front of fine. switch on Skype network so uh, let me show you I have one I can figure one maybe I'm over I guess yes so uh, let me make a phone call for your all the friends on the Skype network so actually yeah, this is a basic uh, you know home network so uh, you can have uh, extensions for your all all your friends on the Skype network so you can use a pep queue actually and uh, set up analog uh, cordless phone and also you can take a wired uh, analog phone uh, wired analog phone so um, you don't need to be 